time for another story time. Okay, today it is going to be a combination video. I am going to tell a story by answering a friend's, a viewer's, um, well, not answering. It's it's like a statement she made, and I'm going to respond to it. Okay, her name is Seore, S-E-O-R-E-H. I think it's a girl. I It's so hard to know on YouTube, many times with the um, little names that are given, the sex, the the um, where you're from, all of that, and so you just have to guess. But anyway, very, very nice person. She wrote... You seem like a healthy, happy, non-toxic fa non -toxic family. Every family I've ever known is toxic and totally dysfunctional. Is this true or am I just living vicariously through the magic of YouTube appearances? Any which way, you actually do seem loving and unconditional. Thank you. And happy, yes, which is a miracle in this world. And I do say it's a miracle. Thank you, God, for your blessings. But... Um, now, how do I respond? Well, first of all, I have to tell you some very uh, dysfunctional stories about our family, but God turns it all around, right? Okay, if you look back at my videos, you will see that I have not had a normal life, and it is, I mean, from the time before I got married, married, etc., it's just been absolutely not non-normal, but it's been wonderful. And there were difficult, very, very hard and difficult times. Everybody has them. And maybe you could call them dysfunctional, but <laughs> some, a couple things come to my mind. First of all, when Jose and I just got married, now I'm telling you, it is not easy to get to know somebody in a, in a, when you live with them, etc. And there are tensions, there are fights, there are disagreements. I don't care how perfect, well, nobody's perfect, how excellent your relationship is. And so, um, I'll just tell you, we are a loud family. As you can tell by Timmy, by me, by even Jose, those of you who've, those who you've met in our family, we are loud and we all talk at the same time we all talk over each other and we all talk louder and louder and louder to try to make our point I know it's rude we need some manners but that's the way it's been we're a little bit better at times but we're very all right let's say Jose is Latin he is from Cuba and Cubans are or Latins are known to be fire right Okay, now I don't know where I get mine from. I think I've got Scottish, Welsh, um, and I don't know anything about those German. I don't know anything about those kind of um, people groups, but, but I am what I am. But anyway, so we get married, and we both had points to make at different times, right? And um, I can remember one time... All right, we were living in a little community where we, um, well, anyway, we got to fighting so much and yelling over each other so much that guess what happened? The cops were called. But immediately, of course, Jose and I, the cop shows up at our door and we are best friends, right? <laughs> Because we truly are best friends. We are just going through a moment. All right, that's one example. Another, I mean, countless. When my kids were teenagers, I had preteens and teens at the same time. And I'm telling you, there was several times when we were all fighting together at the same time and while the kids were fighting and we were talking over them trying to and I was scared the cops were going to be called again but you know what we all have our crap everybody does but I think that we are a happy family and what you see is true and I'm telling you some of our junk a little bit I've told you you ask me, and I'll tell you, honestly, I don't mind talking about my life and telling you all the dirty little secrets. There aren't any. I mean, God has, God has exposed everything, every, and he's been fixing a lot of stuff. And that's the point. When Jose and I got married, I think that if we have a secret, 
it would be that, all right, we both had been single for a long time. And um, I, I mean, when we got married, and you know what, forgive me, if you have seen, if you've been a faithful viewer and seen these stories throughout the my videos, I'm sorry that you're hearing them again, but it's for a different cause. Anyway, um, we both have been single for a long time. Um, he was 34 when we got married, I was 31. And immediately, two months after we got married, baby was on the way and um and so it, that's how it's been ever since and we were ready i mean we were already pretty old and we wanted kids we love kids we wanted seven but because of the sound of music i think i've said that before in a video but anyway but we were already so old that it just didn't happen but we're grateful for, with what we've got very but anyway i think the secret is if there's a secret at least I can only talk about our lives. I can't talk about other people's lives, but for us, it's that our first commitment was not to each other. It was to God. I was already sold out, whether I got married or not, whether God brought me my wonderful husband or not, I was living for him 100%. I wanted to live and live my life. I guess I had kind of like a few if you're Catholic or whatever, you would see it like kind of like a nun's heart. I just knew that he had brought me out of so much garbage and that I could do nothing on my own. And I talked about that in my videos too, that I was, I, I was an absolute disaster when God came into my life. And so um, I was just so messed up that I had nothing else to live for but him. And so, and so I was already that way. And Jose was the same, that he had come from so much junk and he was ready. He just wanted just to live his life, just to whatever God had, he wanted it. Same. And so because of that, we came into it, I guess as, I, I wrote some down some notes here, I guess as, Mission, not missionaries, but we were on a mission. We were on an assignment. He, I was assigned to marry him, and he was assigned to marry me. And so, it was still living for God, but in this new, in this new thing. And so, what to us, I knew that unless I was terribly abused, and I couldn't see that happening, by I, I just couldn't, because I, I just knew him. And I know that a lot of people go into marriage thinking the same thing and then they end up getting abused. And we've known some people who have, it's a good thing that they left their marriage. But it, unless that happens or some other kind of terrible thing, I mean, I was, I was com completely committed until I died or until he died, <laughs> one or the other, to be together. And then we just wanted kids so bad. And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. There is no handbook for having kids. And we made so many mistakes. But that's another secret. First of all, commitment. And then forgiveness. We made so many mistakes. We've asked our kids to forgive us for all. And I'm telling you another thing. Oh, I had other things written down here. I wanted to tell you about. Yeah, I told you about the kids when they were teenagers, when we were all fighting at the same time. And then I also, Jose has had to forgive me for a lot and learn how to, and vice versa, learn how to trust me again at different times. Not for infidelity, nothing like that. And that's another reason why you know, sometimes it happens that people break up, but um, it wasn't anything like that. It was that I would rage and I embarrassed my family many on, se not many, on several occasions. I mean, it was not pretty. I raged publicly and I've even not for a long time, thank God. I'm free now. <laughs> but I beat people up. I beat people up. And um, when they, we were fighting and my kids witnessed me physically attacking another person. 
And uh, so to answer your question, I guess you could call us a little dysfunctional, but we've worked it through. That's the point. We've worked it through. We are happy because we've, we have brought God into it and said, I mean, I, when, I, when my crap was exposed, I didn't want it anymore, and I asked him, I said, whatever you have to do in my life, I want it changed. I don't want to continue like this. I want to earn their trust. I want to be able to, to talk to people on a, in a good way without beating them up. And so um, that's the point. That's the other point is bringing... I've had to bring God into stuff, and Jose's had to, and just to ask him to fix it. And if you've got a willing heart, and you're real and sincere, God can fix anything. Or he can make turn it around for good, even if it doesn't seem like it's fixed. It can be turned around for good. And so, yeah, let me see what else I put down. Yeah, it's always darkest before the dawn. The best prayer you could pray is to expose what needs to be exposed so it doesn't fester and it comes up. And you know what? My rage had to be exposed. It had to come out so that it could be, I could be free because I, instead of it, I wanted, I like switched. I gave my rage to God and it didn't happen overnight. And the peace and love that you see in me is real. <laughs> It's real because he's changed me. So, you can see we've been a dysfunctional family. And to be honest, my kids were embarrassed a couple of times. I raged in front of their friends. And, you know, but they've forgiven me. And um, Jose's forgiven me. And I did earn their trust. It hasn't happened for a long, long, long time. And they've had crap that we've forgiven, you know, that I've forgiven, Jose has, and, and what you see now is many years, 28 years of um, working things out. So, I know this was kind of long, but um, I was just talking off the top of my head, but from my heart. I love you guys. Bye.